Christmas game! Okay, hi, time for an Eagles Craft number 13 before Christmas. And the big news is... Noirland 1.8 has finally gone live. 1.7 has presumably disappeared, and I hope so, because last time I went to 1.7, I visited the Dark Racing and ended up endlessly falling into the floor. I could not escape, because of course Dark Racing had all the teleport commands turned off, and so I was stuck there forever. The Tower of Eccles is gone. The other Tower of Eccles I was building on the 1.8 uh, temporary server is effectively gone. I might create another tower, I'm not sure, but let's take a look around the hub, shall we? So, obviously, we start in a tree, which is actually quite nice. Anybody who knows me knows that I tend to be rather interested in living in trees. Um, at the moment, I'm entirely surrounded by trees, but at this point in time, I've got to fire up Fraps and visit Minecraft again. Of course, naturally, you have a 1 in 3 chance, statistically speaking, of arriving in, at night, so the odds are 90% that you are going to spawn in during the night. Now the hub has a number of large and interesting buildings, including this chicken, which looks a bit lost. Hello chicken. Did I have... No, sure, sure. Or it could just be, um, this was just getting started. And there are lots of interesting buildings here, which we're going to have a look at, basically. There were also four gates. I ended up leaving by the eastern gate, by the way. As well as some other interesting structures which I don't quite know the purpose of. Um, there was this, it should be a, is this a trader of some kind? Or a buying shop? Obviously, things were still under construction here. Because apparently, this hub is going to be a centre of commerce. Rather than what it was in 1.7. You know, you had a hall for going places and doing fun things. You had a rather second lifestyle shop with nobody in it, where you simply, uh, I think you left click to sell and right click to buy, or was it the other way around? I, ca I can't remember right now. Um, it will be a gold trader, but most importantly, there will be a quest giver once Noir Quest is up, running, working, and going live. Which is going to be pretty exciting, actually. Because the idea is, from what I was told... Oh dear. Let's have a quick look around while we still can. This is a sawmill. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a replacement blade, I presume. Mm -hmm. But the idea was that there would be this uh, villager that was a quest giver. He would give you a package to deliver to somewhere, I suppose. And if you accepted that quest, um, two things would happen. One is that you would complete your delivery and get lots and lots of treasure. The other being the acceptance of a quest. This one, oh, this is the gold trader. Coming soon. Yeah. There's a farm over there as well. Uh, the other thing being, you would end up with a great big target over your head for just about everybody else. As you can tell, people are sort of scurrying around and running around and trying to get themselves started. Um, I have barely done that yet. So there's a food vendor. I mean, I don't know what that big uh, stone structure is I'm waiting towards, but it's interesting. I'm wondering if it's some sort of gate. I mean, I wonder where it goes. You know, there's four sides to it, so maybe if you walk into it, you get zoomed all sorts of places. And it whoop. I'm... Subsequently, I went quite a ways east, so here we are in a little Eccles shack. It's pretty much the, what you'd expect from an Eccles shack, and it's a bit of savanna biome. And it's a pretty small sliver of it as it is. Oh look, my chicken has grown up, how lovely. Pretty soon I'll be laying eggs. And as you can see, I've got a flight potion, because I think I'll have a bit of a fly and see what's going on. Now, how did I get flight potions? Well. Let's just say that the 1.8 server got on, got installed on new equipment, so there was a lot of downtime and a lot of delay. Now I can fly for 120 seconds. Wee! So as you can see, I brought along some trees. I mean, previously here, I've been residing a number of holes in the ground. Here's somebody's cobblestone bunker. And I must remember next time to 
when I'm traveling, let frap turn off fraps now and again to oh, there's sheep. I need some sheep for a little project I want to do. Yes, I've got um shears, lovely. Just need that white sheep. Ba ba white sheep, have you any more? Well you bloody don't know. Uh, and there's some nightmare forest as you can see. Now somewhere around here, and I can't remember which direction I was going in, there was a rather impressive looking little township. Uh, I can't remember whose it was, so I'm just trying to get my bearings, so that's where it came from. Is it over here somewhere? Going round and round. Round we go. Where do we stop? Well, we'll find out eventually. In any case, a lot of the plugins, the much vaunted. Oh, there's the road! Yes, the much vaunted plugins, um. Is that it? I'm not sure. I might be going the opposite direction. In any case, one of the big plugins, of course, is Noir Quest, which has been ballyhooed a lot, and I'm rather excited for it. Once we get it installed, it should give a lot of interest and a lot more importance to guilds, because what happens is, um, oh, hello, mate. Lots and lots of trees, but you might want those trees, so I'll just uh, leave them be. So I say, you making a row, Jordan. Now, you can take that anyway, either way you please. Punctuation is important. After all, I'm not going to I walk when you can fly, fly like an anvil. Oh yes, there, here's a township. Now whose was it? Can't remember. They were obviously building some new houses, doing things in a sort of half-timbered style, in stone too. I see. So there's my stick. So wacky, wacky stick. Ooh, little. Eh. Yes, we're yes, we're recording. We're recording live because it is about time I had a bit of a record. And this is lovely. Here's the town square. So who's is this? This is Lady Laurel's township. I wonder if I should uh, request admission. It does sound like fun. So there's a armor shop for rent. Hmm. I wonder how you pay. That's the question. It's a very nice stuff. Just checking to see how much wool I have. And I do have it for my little project. And I... Oh, what on earth is that? I've never seen uh, blocks like that before. Damnedest thing. Quite remarkable. Not even sure what they are, actually. Can't see through them. They're not some kind of fancy... Hmm. Interesting. Anyhow... Might as well have a bit of a fly around because there's something else I saw um, off to the east as it happens. So that's west. East, west, home's best. So I think it was over here. Deep in the desert. I mean, somebody's already been through here. There was a pyramid ne near me, but it's already been um, cast to royal. Like, oops, ran out of. Oh dear, run out of potion. Oh well. Shanks me. That's not the only diving I've been doing. I actually need to uh, tell you what I've been doing involving Twilight Forest and, uh, well, there's an amusing story in it involving myself, a t giant twilight oak, and forgetting that Tree Capitator was live and running. I'm not going to go walking into there, thank you. It's actually thinking of doing a little fishing. Because where I am, it's actually pretty well. Balanced. I've got a uh, river on one side, desert on the other, and my little bit of um, Savannah Delight in the middle. So that looks like the place. Somebody's uh, hasn't finished cutting down that tree. I can't remember where I is. I should have shaven today. I think I'm going in the right direction. I can't remember where I went rambling last time. I mean, down below there's a nether portal, but it ties into somebody else's. Um, all, the place also has a lot of uh, overhangs and things. Yeah, there's the pyramid, but as I say, it's been... So I think, I can't quite remember, but I think this is the right direction. Although I'm not entirely sure. In any case, so I started talking about Noir Quest. And might not be the right place after all. Or direction for that matter. 
Well, starting to talk about Noir Quest, what happens is at the hub there will be a custom setup villager who will t give you instructions. You know, take this uh, magic package to wherever. And as soon as you do that, well, two things will happen. One is you will deliver the package safely, and you'll receive rewards. The other is that a big target will be painted on your back for everybody else to have a go at you. Oh yes, I've got a bio over there. Mm -hmm. And you will die and fail. From the talk I heard, the idea is this is supposed to make it uh, more important to be part of a guild or something. And I think I'm totally lost now. I am going to be going, in and going around at all. Well, why not be finding the uh, empty village I was looking for. Yes, it was totally empty. But at least I'm finding... Uh, at least I'm finding somebody's... Uh, leavings. Somebody's been fighting monsters. Yeah, but um, anyway, um, on to something else, shall we? Okay, turn up the brightness and we can get going. Hello folks and world from the Fracture server which has been updated to 1.7 and a set called Vanillux. So as you can see one of the big things I love are these lockers. They're basically, well they're exactly what they look like on the tin, they're like vertical chests. You can stack them two together and so on and so forth. I'll just close the door because it's dark. I'm not actually that far away from uh, Spawn Inn. So as you can see I'm trying to grow some sugar, sugar cane because I want to make paper to make books. Eventually I've got to make a nether portal or something like that. Anyway, I made another portal anyway. To, to get to the twilight forest is easy. Make, dig a hole, 2x2, two two, fill it with water, chuck in a diamond after you've ringed it with flowers and things and stand well back. So here we are in the twilight forest, which is always twilight. There's no day, no night, or anything like that. But there are zones. Zones of danger, zones of excitement. And of course, really, really, really big trees. And most importantly, there's this castle that we're approaching. This is what's called a Lich Castle. Now, I, the first time I played this uh, particular mod, you could pop into a lich castle any time you liked. As long as you didn't mind being attacked by flying books and, and uh, some other more interesting creatures. So here's the lich castle. Just as we get closer and closer, you can see where there should be entrances. And you can hear the old zombie groaning from inside. Anyway, let's see if we can have a look in, shall we? What? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I remember. You're actually locked out unless you complete uh, a series of boss fights. fights in order. You have to go into a swamp, I think, and you have to kill the Naga. Or is it the Hydra? I can't remember. Or you have to find um, a hedge maze and conquer that. I don't even know to try going in. But at least now, I don't seem to be getting attacked by flying books outside the place. Is it? Oh dear. Little cave? I wonder if there's anything here. It doesn't look like it. It's hard to see. It's just put in a. Let there be light. Just tree. No, no, just tree roots, grass, and a little bit of coal. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> and of course, these gigantic twilight oaks. Now, I remember these twilight oaks are hollow. And you can climb up into the branches and there be all kinds of... Uh, in, in the branches there are... well in the foliage there's hollows and things and you can um, find spawners and treasure maps and other good things. Oh shut up. Blooming cicadas? They basically go off as soon as you... Uh, what do you think? So just... Uh, I just have to make a little hole that's all so... Let's select the point. Here we go. Oh, I forgot. Tree capitator. I forgot about tree capitator. Oh man, look at that. What a mess. 
Look at all this timber. So much. Is it, is it, am I lagging out? It's going crazy, and it is. Whoops! I just cr I just crashed out of the server because I forgot about tree capitator. If you uh, destroy uh, a block in a tree with an axe, what happens is the whole tree gets automatically destroyed. So it's trying to log back in now. Oh grief, I have no idea what this is going to look like. This is going to be insane. Look at it! It is a rain of logs. It is unbelievable. Well, logs and bugs anyway. I completely forgot about tree capitate. I should have used my fists and just punched a hole. Although actually I'm not certain it wouldn't have had the same effect. Look at all of this, and now you can see I'm greatly encumbered. That means every block has a weight, and I'm just trying to pick up as many as I can. But you already know, so I'm starting to slow down because it's just so heavy. I've got no idea what's up there. As you can see, I'm looking around and around. Um, I've got no idea how much st stuff I'm holding, but it's just pop, 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 pop. Oh, grief of banana peels. There's a squirrel. Hello, squirrel. Yep, yeah, it's still falling. Uh, yeah, pop, 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 pop. Oh, it's very much. But it's actually giving me a bit of an idea. Um, I just had a thought. I mean, yeah, I've got my little shack right now. Oh, good grief. I am, oh, I am pretty much full as a family power and half price night. Uh, let's see if we can get to... No, I can't. But what I will do... I'll just... Uh, oops, let's get uh, away from everything. And take this. Oh, I've got a couple of... Because uh, I might as well put this bug back on a tree somewhere. I mean, it's annoying, but... Never mind. Here it goes. Nice little happy... Cicada zithering away. Or will zither away if I get too close. So now here we go. Pop, 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 Watch you go up. Up, up, up. And. Oh, yeah. Did I mention that uh, this server also has uh, uh, reduced stack sizes? So I'm basically full up. I am absolutely full as a family pope on Park Price Night. So I've eaten all my so I've eaten all my apples because I am getting terribly hungry. I'm not actually sure what um, the apples do, and I just hope that I can get back here in time to collect all the rest of this because I have an idea. I have a brainwave to do with all of these um, all these trees. Yep, there's the warning indicating you are approaching a leech castle. I mean, sometimes you see the gleam of a leech, see that uh, sort of zither away, that uh, particle effect in front of a leech castle, but there's other ones. Um, right in front, in the distance in front of me is dark forest. It's right over a river, actually, from where I spawned, and if you delve far enough into it, um, your screen goes completely black because you need uh, an artifact, an item basically, that you can only find, find, guess what, by killing one of the boss monsters. So, I'm making my way back and it is agonizing, I'm completely overloaded. Apparently this is to prevent people from, um, so I'm having a bit of a think here, and we, frankly I don't need a mushroom. Let's see if I can uh, stow it somewhere. Is that good enough? There we go. Now we have happy little. Let's do something about these fireflies as well. Because I don't need those. You can actually put fireflies in jars, but in 1.6, when I last played this, the jars actually ended up being dimmer than the and uh, the fireflies by themselves. But they were a nice uh, sort of renewable resource. I'm going to go back and try and get some more wood. 
Um, you might notice that uh, for some reason this thing is kind of... Oh no, never mind that. Right now I am closer to the the uh, entry lodge and the locker than I am to the tree that has fallen down as I ludge my way, trudge, trudge. Also, there's another modification to this. Um, you're actually able to uh, climb single block sites without having to jump all the time, which is actually actually quite a nice modification. Um, now I need to actually look at Tree Capitator again. Okay, Whew. oh, that's better. Close the door because I don't want any sheep coming in, and hopefully I can go back and get another load. Because I've just had an I because I finally had an idea, a genius idea, a brilliant idea, an incredibly stupid idea. Anyway, days later, you can see I've made a hopper, slightly changed recipe here, and I am cooking down charcoal as much as I can do. We also know we've got apple trees in this pack. Growthcraft allows you to turn an apple into an apple core, which is act doesn't actually make sense from a logical perspective. But I could set up an absolutely corker apple orchard. And I'd never have to worry about eating apples for the rest of my life. I mean, it, that would theoretically make developing golden apples a bit easier. So I might as well harvest my fruit now while I've got the chance. And besides, I'm hungry. Ouch. Um, how do you make a golden apple anyway? Oh, yeah, that's right. I think you. Yeah, so I think you put it in the crafting grid and you get an apple core. Um, if I was to write a mod like that, personally, I would probably consider, as you can see there, ding, get a apple core. I would personally have a, uh, a, a relatively low percentage chance of eat an apple, get an apple core. Though I suspect the idea is apples are pretty rare as it is to get, so if you can't get an apple core. But anyway, what have I done with all that wood? I didn't manage to get uh, a second load, unfortunately, but I am building a tree. A tree that I can live in, obviously. So it's a pretty much a bad parody of a tree, and there's enough space in here for some storage. Let me go up and up and up. That's the, the entrance out into the lower level platform. Or will we? Got one heck of a view over the um, nightmare forest here. I'm using dark oak leaves for the foliage, so I'm going to have to work on that for a bit. Obviously, I'm it looks like an absolute mess because I'm pulling it out of my bum as I go along. Anyway, you actually get quite a good view from way, way, way up the top. So as you can see, lots of dark forest and flower, a little bit of flower forest, and you can see all the way up to where the spawn is and the elegant gardens there. Now, am I going to be able to? No, I'm not. I don't think so. I think I'm a bit too high for that and a bit too far in land. I have actually died once. Um, trying to jump off. No, I won't because I'll be landing on top of uh, my apple tree fatally. So, anyway, so I'll just uh, go back downstairs. But the idea is um, each platform will have maybe three or four lobes. And each lobe will consist of. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It might consist of a. Anyway, let's see if I can. Prepare to dive! Here we go. Um, make sure. Another view. What a view. This is one of the reasons I like towers. Um, you get such lovely views. Anyway, one, two, three. Here we go. Uh, ooh, one, two, three. Like, bun like my bungee jump. Am I going to do it? Yeah, am I going to do it? Yes! And. Near miss. Nearly landed in my apple tree, which would have killed me. I mean, it might have been amusing. That's the Twilight Forest portal, obviously. And I'm just going to go over here because I just remembered something. You see, 
I've got apples, I've got grain, I've got plenty of wood. I just need to find some occupants for this bee box. Bee box a luo this mean Yeah. So obviously I need bees. Unfortunately I happen to know somebody who happens to have more than a few bees. At least I assume they have more than a few bees. I hope they don't mind learning that I have borrowed bees. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to be uh, naughty or anything. It's just that um, there's no point in having a no point in beekeeping without well without bees, basically. I think there's also some sort of uh, area effect in this region that makes things move faster. This was, that's what I noticed. And there's a apple tree so loaded that uh, literally. Oh, did another one fall down? Yes. Apples! And all sorts of other stuff. Um, dabble it with Bibliocraft. And... Is, is that Tinker's... I don't know, Carpenter's Blocks. Different thing, but uh, Tinker's Construct I actually quite like. I quite like the idea of their crafting system. Oh yes, got plenty of bees. They won't miss a few bees, will they? Um, how many will I take? Hmm, will I take 32? No. But I will take one. Just take a brace of bees. Here we are. One brace of bees. And um, what should I take a honeycomb? Uh, I think that's uh, going a bit too far. So I'll put it back. I mean, I think I read on the Growthcraft wiki that uh, bees will spawn honey. Anyway, so here we are. We've got some grapes and we've got some hops. You might notice things are moving a bit faster now. Funny that. Mm hmm, no effects so. though. Yeah, there's some nice stone lanterns and other good things. Coke ovens, um, the fruit press, obviously important. So, if I'm going to make cider, because this occurred to me, I could make cider, yeah. Um, I'm going to need a fruit press, obviously, to make the juice. Hmm, modular systems, modular furnace core. A brew kettle. I'm not sure how that works, strange. And of course the ferment barrel. So presumably I need. Which one is that? That's ale. Oh, sounds nice. And uh, I can't tell, but have they put uh, nether wort in it? Weird. What's this say? Schwannenbrau, the beacon of beers. Testing room ahead. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody has actually made a bacon flavored beer. I mean, it's chili flavored beer. And of course you can get uh, various. Um, Lambics and fruit flavoured beers, and different types of hops give different flavours. Um, I know that the Garage Project have or had on tap a brew called Angry Peaches because the particular type of, um, I think it was the hops they used, gave the beer a sort of stone fruit twinge to it. I'm not, not explaining this very well, but there you are. Actually, oh, where are we? I wonder if I should consider... Oh, that tree is so half built. I'm going to have to knock down a few more dark oak trees, I think, to get leaves. Now, the funny thing is, I've found out that um, if you... Oh, did I hear splash? No, I probably didn't, actually. Tree, um, apples don't go splash, but... It's nice to imagine that you do. So let's just uh, grow our grain. Oh, very nice. With a bowl of rice. Um, hmm. Actually, let's have a bit of a play. Uh, I'll have a play with the chisel later. Because chisel is another mod that I actually quite like the look of. It's completely useless. It is decorative. But for now, while the, there's still light in the sky, it's probably a good idea to home my bees. There we go. Two bees in the bee box. And it's getting dark. Ooh. I better think about um, I think about getting inside. I mean, this is Nightmare Forest after all. I mean, Dark Forest. I keep calling it Nightmare Forest. Um, so, let's go inside, shall we? And close the door. And check out my... Oh, no. Been doing quite well. Oh. We're out of... Uh, a vault of lava. I had a, a bucket full of lava burning away there. How lovely. Um, let's put uh, let's put the 
charcoal away because I'm going to need that later on because um, it's a bit easier to use charcoal than regular coal. Just a thought. Oh yes, it looks like um, it's actually going to be effective to use charcoal to make charcoal. I don't know if that's uh, something from vanilla or... well, you get the idea. Uh, is isn't there a horse out there? I can't remember now. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a bit of a sleep. Obviously I'm the only one on the server. So, it's chuntering away. Oh yes, that's actually going to work quite nicely. Um, now, where am I? I'm trying to remember something. So, charcoal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, charcoal breeds more charcoal. Now, let's see what else there is. Just have a quick look around. Let's study everything. Well, I've only just installed my bee, so I don't know why I'm going back to look at it. But, you know, when you look at mods, I'm going to admit this, when I look at mods, I get ideas. Um, there's actually a mod that I was going to look at today, no, nothing happening, and I was looking at another mod, I'll probably dis discuss it in Ecclescraft number 14. Uh, I didn't really have good things to say about it because I found it enormously frustrating. Anyway, um, what was I looking for? I was looking for something. Oh yes, honeycomb. I mean, uh, do I need to make a honeycomb in order to encourage the bees to pollinate it? Or do I just need to find more flowers and stick them around the hive? I mean, you know, in um, the purple pack of 1.6, um, beehives would naturally occur. And I think they were actually necessary for a postal service, so I'm just trying to find out where the honeycombs are. As you can see, I'm using not enough items, and there are just tons of micro blocks. Yeah, look at them. Lots and lots. Ah, oh, here we are, honeycomb. Now, just give me. If I double click it, I should get a recipe. No, no recipe. Hmm. But with uh, honeycomb, I can uh, make honey and therefore mead. Okay, so I'm looking at something and I can't remember what the heck I was looking at. Oh, that's right, I was thinking about making a ferment barrel. Still no change. Oh well. Um, might as well go and pick up some apples. Oh, I'm gonna make a gate one of these days, and the apples are falling off the tree. I am just burgeoning. And actually, but before we do that, um, I'd like to show off the chisel. Chisel, I mentioned before, is a more decorative mod. So, here's a block of marble. The reason I had that marble, by the way, was because I was trying to figure out why is marble see-through, giving me an inadvertent x-ray. And it turns out that the reason was um, I had Optifine installed, and Optifine and Fastcraft, which is part of this pack, don't play well together. Anyway, you notice, right-click with the chisel in hand, get this menu, so now I can choose how to carve a block of marble. So I could choose to carve it like this. Um, that one? Oh, yes, that one. Whoops. But I don't like um, that, so I can carve it into something else. In fact, you can uncarve a block of marble and get um, something classic. So I'll take this decorative block of marble anyway. You say, does anyone remember that terrible song? You know, I want to carve you in marble, carve you, because I love you. Ooh. Oh, look at that! My apple apple tree is overloaded. I'm going to plant an, plant an apple tree. Oh no, I mean to plant. Because you can't plant. You don't plant an apple tree. You can't. I mean, you can't. You can only can't. You cannot can't. You can only plant. You cannot plant. Because if you plant an apple tree, the apples will grow. Not apples, you see. Uh, obviously, Spike Mulligan there. Um, so, I know where to put this block of marble anyway. So, I am going to remove a block. I'm just going to take, be very, very careful about this. And whack at it with something other than an axe. I bet I would have uh, not had that embarrassing incident. Bonk, there it goes. It does look quite nice, doesn't it? My entrance! My entrance. My pants. My trousers. 
trousers. My lovely garden of wheat. I'll probably put that up in the sky sometime. Alright, something else that I've been doing is uh, Terra Firma Craft, which uh, as it spawns, you soon realize it's radically different. For one thing, there's sticks on the ground, and you'll notice I have the fancy graphics turned off because otherwise the lag is just absolutely appalling because you've got so many objects on the ground. You've got stones, which you need, and you need sticks, which you need because Terra Firma Craft makes the game much, much, much harder than ever. So, um, I'm being a bit lagged out here for some reason, it's rather annoying actually. But I need to pick up sticks and stones. Yes, we now have a rock. Well, we need two rocks actually because I need to do some napping. That's with a K. So there we are, we have rocks. Oh no, we can't do it like that. We have to take a rock in hand, right click, and that gives us the napping interface. What you do is you basically nap, nap, nap as you nap off chunks of stone to get, in this case, an axe head because we need lots of logs and we need lots of wood in order to make campfires. So now I have a stone axe. Now that is obviously radically different. So while we're here as well, we need sticks and the easiest way to get a stick is to basically break apart leaves. Now you can actually walk through the leaves, but and but soon you pretty much notice that even though the bio might say jungle or it might say tundra or something like that, everything looks very samey in this uh, particular mod, which is a bit depressing actually. Survival is also incredibly difficult for exactly those self same reasons. Have a pick of everything? Yeah, I think pick of everything. <coughs> you, I've spent most of my time in Terra Firma Craft in the Hunter Gatherer phase, which is what I'm in now. Hence the name Paleo, hence that uh, award, Paleolithic. So obviously I'm defoliating this tree because I want as many sticks as I can get. You need five sticks to make a fire. Three get thrown on the ground, and two make a um, fire starter, which you are going to need not just for making um, fires, but also to see. There we go. Now we've got some logs. Hooray! But also for a number of other functions, and one of those is that we're going to need some more stones because I need to make a few more tools. So we go nap. We're going to start knapping. So one, two, 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 chunk. I'm going to make some, make a stone shovel head. Hey, eh? that's not it. I must have got it wrong. Which goes um, just how much I remember off the top of my head. I mean, there is a wiki out there, so that rock has been destroyed. Forget it. But we can still make some stone knives because we're going to need a stone knife at some point. Uh, one more rock, please. And let's see if I can remember what the damn th shovel head looks like. One, two, uh, one, two, three, three, two, three, three, two. Ah, I did it upside down. Silly me. Okay, so let's uh, make our stone shovel. Because we're going to need that, because eventually we're going to find these. These indicate that there is ore underground here. That's a gold nugget, unfortunately, and I want copper. But in order to smelt ores, we need to make a pit kiln, but I'll show you that later. But right now, clay. That's what clay looks like, and it just is. Well, it's not everywhere. Um, I was playing just straight terra firma craft, and the seed, 49152. Um, now, did you notice that? That uh, earth block dropped, which is what they do. Um, it's not just gravel and sand, it is in fact earth. And I can tell you right now that even mining is a dangerous thing once you get into, get into solid rock. And the reason for that is very simple. If you... When you're mining, if you don't shore up your mine workings, 
you are quite likely to find yourself buried in a cave -in. That's how dangerous things are. I actually rage quit last time I managed to get to um, the point of actually being able to mine. So right now I'm obviously collecting as much clay as I can. And you'll notice that uh, only a few blobs of clay come out at any one time because this isn't uh, a matter of just building decorative blocks. With clay you are actually building important items and the clay stage is act is I'm going to say actually a lot, is actually pretty important. There's another blooming golden nugget. Ugh. They're orangish, they're more coppery. So, I'll take a... Yep, there's a golden nugget. Sod. So there's obviously uh, a gold vein beneath where I am. Up to 35 blocks below, as a matter of fact. And I don't know what kind of... Oh, there's another blooming golden nugget. And some kind of tree I don't recognise. Very pretty, though. It might be a fruit tree of some kind, but I don't know how to get the fruit off without busting leaves or anything. So anyway, um, I'm going to go looking around for something to eat. Because as you can see, I'm playing on Peaceful. The last thing you need in this game, particular mod is actually trying to uh, find food while there's monsters roaming around. Um, if you do have monsters roaming around, you end up with a lot of, as you can see, walk through um, grass like that. Now those these reeds here aren't just there for decoration, they tell you where there's fresh water. You'll notice there's two bars where the hunger icons used to be and what they are, they tell you how thirsty you are and how hungry you are. So you can't use dirt as a building material, it'll just collapse. You can't use cobblestone as a building material, it will just collapse. You have you only end up using logs and it will take you a very long time before you are able to build a saw and I don't even know if I should even try by the way those little yellow flowers are goldenrod and they are reliable indicators of okay now we've got a hole because we're going to make a pit kiln but first we have to um, what do we need Need our clay, so get that there. You've got 24 lumps of clay, you need 5 lumps of clay to craft, and the crafting of the molding clay is actually pretty straightforward. So I'm going to try making a jug if I can remember how it's done. And I've got it I've got the handle in the wrong place. Stupid. Um, one, two, one, two, three, three. Now the, the clay jug is used for toting water, which makes it a lot easier to drink because just drinking with your hands from um, the nearest water su supply is slow as slow can be. So, uh, what am I going to make here? Oh yes, one. That's a clay vessel. Use that for a lot of things. You can store a few things in it or you can smelt metals in it if you've got them. That's pretty important. Um, so I'm going to crouch and click to, to place my vessel and my jug, because you can't uh, hold water in clay. Now you half fill this block with straw, which as you can see, you get by uh, harvesting grass with a knife. Now we put in eight logs, and now we need our fire starter, and our kiln is fired, and once that kiln goes out, there will be um, nicely freshly fired materials and of course it immediately starts blooming raining. Problem is you can't just uh, build a wood shelter, wood will catch fire and okay changing it clear weather eventually. Duh, I love cheats but I mean terra firma craft if you're in for a, in the, for a mod that changes just about everything and uh, really makes you work for your living um, you might like to think about looking for it, it's just, that's exactly what it's called, Terra Firma Craft, but I'm going to admit that I myself tend to be a little impatient, I want to do cool stuff. Anyway, as I was saying, and we've been bumped suddenly to Tahiti, and as you can see from Dark Order there, I've uh, got some shaders running. I haven't quite managed to get them all running properly yet, which is unfortunate. But uh, anyway, Tahiti is kind of the emergency place to stand when there is 
problems with the main server. You can see also that uh, I'm using Mr. Meep's shaders here, so they don't quite work properly. I might try uh, a different one anyway. Um, I don't know why body's looking down, but never mind. Let's try. Let's go on the dining board. We and miss completely. You might have noticed there was a bl big block of sl set of slime blocks there. The idea is you climb up to the top of the Tahiti Hotel, which is just a well, it's just a bloomin' shop front really, and try and time your jump so that you land on the slime block and there's a place up above, you can just see it in the top corner there, where you can stand in glory. Anyway, um, as I was saying, there are some things about Terra Firma Craft and its crafting system that I like, but I also like Tinker's Construct and a number of other inventions. I mean, Industrial Craft with its uh, electricity and wires fascinated me back in 1.6 and wouldn't mind trying that. Maybe what I need to do is wait until Forge... Yes, I should wait until Forge is updated to 1.8, but in the meantime, I do have pencil and paper, and there's no reason why I could not... Here we go! Boing! Oh, I missed. Lag. Anywho. Hmm, well, pity I missed, but at least I get a nice swim in. Yes, I mean there are nice tools for inventing my idea of a mod, and the more work I put into it, hopefully the better it'll be. So yes, something wrong with these shaders I think. So if I turn those off, yeah, there we go, now we can see people. Very annoying. I don't know why everybody seems to be in black. Must be something wrong with, um, Someone's got a wooden arm. The man with a wooden arm. I wonder if you have another go. Oh, I don't know. But I think this is a good point uh, as we relax or rather do jumpy things in Tahiti to say farewell to Eccles Craft number 13.